Hi guys! Welcome! This is a quick stretch you can do every day to boost energy and improve mobility. Let's start on our knees and toes tucked behind. Clasping our hands in front. Exhale. Begin to move it up towards the sky. Arching your back, your head turning up, face towards the sky. Inhale. Move your arms down, keeping them clasped and arms straight, rounding your spine. Repeat this movement, arching your back as you move your hands up and rounding your spine as you move them down. Keep your movement slow and easy. Move gently, just warming up the muscles and spine. Especially in the morning, the body and muscle is quite stiff from the night's sleep. So keep your movement controlled. Move your arms slowly. Inhale. Bring your arms down. Exhale. Move your arms up. Inhale. Move your arms down. Beautiful. Now bring your butt to sit on your heels and plant your right arm beside you on the ground. Extend your left arm past your head as you bend your body to your right side. You should feel the stretch on your arm, shoulders, side torso, and waist. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Your left hand on the ground while your right arm extends on the side past your head as your torso bends towards the left side. Feeling a nice stretch on the side of the body, keep taking deep breaths. Keep holding, hold and breath. Back to center, stand on your knees, clasp your hands behind you and lift your arms slowly, keeping your back straight as possible. You can sit on your heels if that feels easier. Continue lifting your arms behind. Just lift them as high as comfortable as you feel. You should feel the stretch in your arms and shoulders while opening up your chest, which helps improve respiration. Lift your arms and down. Lift your arms and down. Inhale as you lift your hands and exhale as you move it down and relax good job guys lean forward to your all fours inhale as you drop your belly towards the mat lifting your chin and chest and up towards the sky shoulders drawn away from your ears exhale Draw your belly towards your spine and round your back towards the sky. The crown of your head towards the floor and your chin towards your chest, but don't force them to touch. Repeat cow pose and back to cat pose. Bringing movement and flexibility to your spine helps your body become more coordinated. Keeping your breath coordinated with your movements, imagine your breath traveling up and down your spine. Cat and cow pose is said to help improve posture and balance. Ideal for those with back pain while helping you relax and ease your stress and muscle tension from the day. Or, if you are starting your day, then it is a great pose to warm up your spine and body as well. Inhale to cow pose. Exhale back to cat pose. Back to your all fours. Lift your right arm towards the sky, slightly twisting your body towards your raised arm. Now bring your arm down 
and slide it underneath your left arm with your palm facing up. Let your right shoulder come all the way down to the mat. Let your right cheek rest on the mat and gaze on your left. Make sure not to strain your neck, so adjust your position so as not to press your weight on your head. Keep your left elbow lifted and your hips raised. Press through your left hand and gently slide your right hand out. Return to tabletop. Let's repeat this on the other side. Lift your left arm towards the sky, twisting your torso slightly towards your waist arm. Slide your left arm underneath your right arm, palm facing up, left shoulder and cheek on the mat. Hold this position, taking deep breaths. This pose opens up the chest and shoulders, releases tension in the back, shoulders and upper back, increases spinal mobility, primarily in the thoracic, and may help to elevate neck and upper back pain. Release your hand and come back up to tabletop. Lift your knees to floating table and bend your right knee forward while straightening your left leg back. Drop your back knee to the mat to your low lunge. Your front knee should be a 90 degree angle and raise your torso, placing your hands on your waist or hips, gently pushing down to further stretch your groins, quads and hamstrings while releasing tension in your hips. Doing this regularly would definitely improve your mobility. Drop your elbow to the mat beside your instep and gently move your right knee away from you towards the mat. Lizard pose opens your hips, hamstrings and groins and hip flexors as well. It strengthens the inner thigh muscles on the front leg and it's a good preparation pose before doing pigeon pose or even split. A good stretch to do regularly to relieve your stiffness and tightness. Coming up, stretch your front leg while bending your back leg. Keep your back straight, not rounded. Aim for a straight leg in front. If not, you can bend your knees slightly. You should feel the stretch on your thighs, hamstrings, and groins. This helps to improve the strength and flexibility in the hips, legs, shoulders, arms, abdomen, back, and knees. This is beneficial for athletes and runners as it stretches and stimulates the lower body. Release your runner's lunge by slowly bending your front leg and straightening your back leg, coming back to tabletop. We are going to repeat this sequence on the other side. Raise your knees to float and bring your left knee in front while straightening your back leg. Drop your back knee to the mat so you are on low lunge. Raise your torso and place your hands on your hips, gently pushing down. This will further stretch your groins, quads, and hamstrings. Doing this regularly will improve your hip flexibility, strengthen your knee, and tones your thighs as well. Dropping your elbow to the mat for a lizard pose, move your left knee away from you. You should feel that stretch on your groin and hip flexor. Don't hold your breath. You may raise your torso for more challenge. Otherwise, just keep your elbow on the ground. You may help your knee by pushing or pressing. Just do it slowly and gently. We don't want to injure our knee here. That's it. You're stretching out just fine. Straighten your front knee while bending the one behind reversing the position to your runner stretch. Keeping your back straight, feel the stretch in your quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Remember, you may always bend your knee slightly 
if it's too challenging. Gradually, you can straighten if the tension goes away. Back to your lunge, transitioning to high plank. Arm and elbow straight and your body forms a straight line from heel to the top of your head. Squeeze your heels and glutes together, drawing your navel towards your spine. This helps develop a stronger core, which means it helps support your lower back. Plank works your arms and front side body. This pose is a beginner friendly and you can start with a few seconds and gradually increase as you get used to it. And transition to hero pose before gently pressing through your elbows to recline. You may need a props to support you when doing this the first time. Rest on this reclining hero pose. You may need a pillow or blanket to put underneath to support your back here. Relax and feel a stretch, especially on your front thighs. Feel the stretch more on the feet, ankles, thighs, and front of the body. This gently massages and stimulates the lower back, and it opens up the chest and the shoulders as well. Release your legs one at a time, bending your knees, Brace your core, take a deep breath, lift your butt till your thighs are about parallel to the floor, keeping your knees directly on your heels. You may rest your hands beside you or clasp them underneath your body. This stretches the back, neck, and spine. It rejuvenates your tired legs and relieves menstrual discomfort. This bridge pose helps reduce belly fat and tone your legs. Get energized in the morning, rejuvenate within the day, and release your tension at night. Release your bridge to Sabasana. Rest and relax your hands on the side. Stay as long as you want in this pose. Do these simple stretches and it helps you move better throughout the day. Thank you so much guys for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Let me know what you think on the comment section below and I'll see you next time. Bye!